Hey everyone and welcome back to my football manager experiments. It's been a long time since my last one and I do apologise for that. I keep sort of doing the odd one and saying I'm back, I'm ready to do some more and then I don't. <laughs> so I'm making no promises this time. I might, this might be a one-off, well, you know, a one-off for ages or it could be the start of something big again. I did start these over a year ago now and obviously it was the main reason for the growth in my subscriber base. So I probably should repay your faith for those of you that have stuck with me until this point and give you some experiments and some interesting videos. And you know, I'm aiming to do that, but like I said, no promises as I am very busy with various things. But anyway, today it involves Jose Mourinho, as you probably gathered from the title, and I've basically cloned him 20 times and put him as the manager of every single English Premier Division side. Now, that's a bit crazy, I guess, but we're going to see what happens. Someone suggested this in my last experiment, which was ages ago now, the Team of Shamak's experiment. A regular commenter um, suggested this idea, and I, I might try it with other managers if this is successful. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to holiday to the end of the first season and see where everyone finishes. It'd be interesting to see what manage, like what Jose Marino does with different teams, what tactics he employs. Will he employ the same tactics at each team? Will he employ his usual style of play at each team? Or will he mix it up depending on the teams he has? It would be interesting to see what team comes out on top. Will he be best with Chelsea? Or will he be better with another team? Also, how will he cope with lower down teams such as Crystal Palace and teams with no money, teams with average Premiership players? Can he get something out of them and maybe finish above one of the bigger teams? It will be really interesting to see what happens and how he has an impact on the various teams. So, I'm going to holiday to the first season and then see how he gets on and what the Premiership table looks like. So I've holidayed it to the end of the first season and this is the outcome. Chelsea won with Jose Mourinho in charge. The real Jose Mourinho and not his clones. So this has proven that Mourinho is at the right club, I guess. And people were saying he should have gone to Man United in the summer. But obviously this is only one game holidayed. I mean, if I did it another three times, perhaps it would come out differently. It probably would. But there we go. That's... What's happened? The top four, Chelsea, Man City, Liverpool, Man United, Arsenal down in 8th place, Tottenham 5th, Everton 6th, Newcastle 7th, relegated Palace, West Ham and Hull. So there you go. Um, West Ham getting relegated there. Let's see the top scorers, just have a quick look at some of the stats and then we'll go to the teams. One matter, top average rating for Man United there. Wilfred Boney was top scorer, then Suarez, Oscar and Hazard were both top assists. It's interesting to see. Let's just see some of the tactics employed. We'll go to Chelsea and see what he did. He played a 4-2-3-1 formation. I don't think we, we can't see their, um, what tactics he actually used, but that's the formation he decided to use. This is the manager himself. We'll have a look at the other competitions to see how these teams did in the Champions League, FA Cup, League Cup, etc. I'm just going to do one season for this video. If you want me to do a part two and see if it changes in the second and third season, leave a like if there's enough likes that I feel ad is adequate enough for enough of you to be interested. Then I'll do a second part or our holiday to the end of season three. Um, also, leave feedback in the comment section below. And have a quick look at Man City. See who they signed. Let's see some of the transfer history. They brought in Griezmann from Real Sociedad. Sold Kolarov. Mourinho doesn't like Kolarov by the looks of it. I'm trying to get to their tactics. I'm failing here. He also played the same formation. Company in midfield for the last game anyway. Um, obviously he might not have played there the majority of the season. We can have a look actually. Played 32 of his games in central midfield. There you go. That's really interesting. Um, not the best average rating though, but uh, Mourinho decided to persist with that. I suppose it's similar to him playing David Luiz in midfield in a way. But that is interesting. Man United, different formation. There we go, 4-4-1-1 formation, finishing fourth. Newcastle, that's a similar 
just go down them all pretty much all four two three one so he's really sticking with that formation isn't he this well whoever apart from man united villa cardiff chelsea palace everton fulham four four two so only two teams so far that he played a different formation with that's quite interesting um yeah just look at some of the big transfers the biggest one was actually Griezmann then it was Ado Turan going to Tottenham Pedro went to Chelsea that's interesting Supertich to Man United Hernandez going to Barcelona Smalling going from Man United to Chelsea Diame going to Diame always leaves because of that um, clause he has in his contract oh, well there you go um We'll have a quick look at the FA Cup and the, the League Cup and then the Champions League, etc. To see how Mourinho did in those competitions. So, where should we go? FA Cup. The winner was Man City in extra time against Liverpool. Let's see where Chelsea got to. How did they get on? Didn't even get to the quarter-final stage. Not even to that stage either. They must have gone out early on. Where are they? Can't find them. Third round, I'm guessing. Somewhere out amongst that lot there. Yeah, they lost 3-2. Okay, League Cup. Capital One Cup. Arsenal won. There you go, you've won a trophy. Obviously, in real life, you might actually win the FA Cup this season. Beating Sunderland in the final. <laughs> Just like in real life, they've lost in the final. Uh, Champions League, let's see how he got on in the Champions League. Man uh, Chelsea Man United final, and Chelsea came out on top, so the double for Chelsea there. Fantastic stuff, Fernando Torres with the winning goal. Mourinho against Mourinho in the final. Crazy. They beat Barcelona in the semis, and Man United beat Real Madrid. I mean, <laughs> how unrealistic. But you never know, you never know. But. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and we'll have a quick look at the Europa League, see if you managed to do anything with the three teams in that. Well, two teams actually. It's only Swansea and um, Tottenham because Wigan won't be in, have uh, Mourinho in charge. Where am I going? I can't see. Here we go. Euro Cup. The winner was Tottenham. So <laughs> Mourinho has won a hell of a lot of competitions this season with different teams, which is quite funny. And Lamella with two goals in the final. So that's what would happen if we had a clone, cloned army of Jose Mourinho in charge of every single Premiership team. This is the outcome. If you want me to do second part and do second and third season holiday through, then leave a like. If there's enough likes, I don't know how many likes. I don't know how many people is going to watch this. But yeah, leave a like and I will do part two. And then I will also do some other managers, Arsene Wenger, Whatever, really. Put your favourite manager or your your preferred manager for me to do next in the comment section below. And if it gets lots of likes, then I suppose I'll do that one. That's probably a good idea. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, etc. And follow me on Twitter and that sort of thing. You know what to do. And I shall see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.